Okay, in this uh, video, we're gonna talk about recursive function. So what is a recursive function? Basically, the recursive function is a function uh, that calls itself. Okay, so for example, if you look at this sum function, okay, so sum function is basically uh, given i, it will return 1 plus 2 plus 2i. So that's basically what it is. We're going to talk about how it works. But anyway, the function that calls itself here, this is the definition of some function. But inside the function, it calls some function again. Okay. So what's the difference? Well, it calls itself with different argument. Okay, if it calls itself with the same argument, then it will be basically infinite recursion. So um, we don't do that. Okay, so that's the recursive function. So let's think about this function and let's say uh, sum three. So sum three should output uh, one plus two plus three, which is six. Okay, so let's think about how this works. Okay, so uh, let's think about the call stack again. So if you're not familiar with the call stacks, please um, watch the video about call stacks before um, watching this video. So let's say this is main function, okay? This is the call step for, stack frame for the main function. Okay, this is stack, okay? Okay, now in main function, let's say sum three is called. What does that mean? New stack frame for sum is established and then well, we have only have one input parameter. So here, uh, i, which is integer, right? And then three, right, call sum three here. Because call sum three is called, the argument is copied into the input parameter i, right, here. Okay, so now, here, control is here, and then what? Because i is not one, it will basically call sum again. So another stack frame is set up for sum function. Now, because i is three, it will call sum two, right? Right, so that means Remember, this i and this i is different. It's a different uh, stack frame. So this i is integer. So I'll just omit the type i, and then this is two. So you got, it, it, it'll again start here. And then what? Because i is not one, you go else, and then you call again. That means another stack frame for sum is called. So for each sum called, new stack frame is called, and uh, new stack frame is uh, established. And then now this one is calling sum one because i is two and i minus two is one. And then now here, i is one. Okay. So then what? Now, This if condition is true, and then we're gonna return one. One is returned, and the function is finished. When the function is finished, this stack frame will be reclaimed, okay? So now you got one as a return value from the call someone. So that means what? Now, you have to return i plus that return value. That means it will return 
i, which is 2, plus whatever the return value. So that means what 3 is returned, and the function is done. So now this step frame is reclaimed. Okay, now what? Again okay, here, you got three from the sum two call as a return value. So now what? I is three and then, you know, return value from sum is three. So you have to return again, six to the main. Okay, so this is what, as we expected, sum three is returning six which is correct because some three should be one plus two plus three. Okay, so that's how the uh, recursive function works. Okay. Another way to be helpful, another way to show how it works that might be helpful to you is this. So let's think about the time frame. So this is like from start. Right now, this is main. So from main, sum three is called. Right, so input is three. Right, and then here what? Sum two will be called. And then here, go else again, and then sum one will be called. This is what, two and then one. And here in sum one, it will return one as a base case. It's no more recursion, okay? And then given that one as a return value, I plus the return value will be return value to the caller um, sum three. Right, so that means what? Two, uh, what? So that means this is one, and then you have to return two plus this value one, so you return three to the sum three, right? Now what? Input is three, so you return six. This input i is three, i is two, i is one, so i is three, and the return value is three, and then you return three. So in a sense, you go all the way to the calls, and then returns in backward. So something like that is happening, okay?